There is always something pulling something in this world. And therefore, to be remaining still means it is in balance somehow. That is why it is equilibrium. Equilibrium means the pulls are in an equal state. This is only the tranquility comes. So this is why it is very important to understand that samadhi is not concentration. Most people translate it as concentration. Samadhi is not concentration, it is a state of mental equilibrium. Now when you reach that state of mental equilibrium, that is called entering the jhana. Entering the jhana. And what is the meaning of jhana? Now again, a lot of people think jhana is a state of concentration. Jhana is not concentration. Jhana is what is called a withdrawal. We now if I go out of this room and stay at the door outside, that is called standing out. That standing out is called ecstasy. The word ecstasy is usually understood as getting excited. It is not getting excited. It is standing out of all excitement. That means calming the mind. All the emotional excitement you are getting out of it. That is standing out. So you are withdrawing from the world of emotional excitement. It's a withdrawal and standing out. So the first ecstasy is to stand out of the emotional world. And once you have been standing out, you are still thinking, you can form concepts, but those concepts are not concepts that create emotional excitement. It is like this is breathing in, that is a concept. This is breathing out, that is a concept. This is relaxing the body, the body becomes relaxed, that is a concept. So, by observing something we begin to ask the question, what is this? And then we answer the question. That is the meaning of vitakka and vichara. Vitakka is answering the question and vichara is asking the question. So every concept that we form is answering answering the question asking the question vitakka and vichara 
when we get into the second ecstasy we stop asking questions and we stop answering questions that is we stop conceptual thinking we might see something we do look at the thing and say what is this oh this is a camera oh what is this this is a face we don't think like that so we may see things but we don't ask questions and answer questions that means no conceptual thinking when that happens we are in the second jhana second ecstasy but still we are left with preeti and ekagrata preeti is that happiness and ekagrata is the unity you or the unification of the mind Consumers. the Huh? Cognitive, consonants. cognitive consonants it's called yeah because the mind gets separated into two that is called cognitive dissonance that means the mind is broken into two parts that means the emotional part which is chitta begins to pull in one direction and the cognitive part which is the mano begins to pull in the other direction so when uh this pull in two different directions that is called vichikicha and that is stopped when uh, you turn your mind in only in one direction which is once you have seen the reality of things your mind is turned in one direction so that is the important thing to understand Mm. so uh, so when you enter the second jhana or ecstasy you have the happiness and the comfort and the unification of the mind when you went to the third jhana you give up that happiness that doesn't mean that you become unhappy but you get into a neutral state because happiness at that point is seen as an excitement so you calm down and then you are left with comfort and the unity of the mind comfort then when you get on to the next step you give up the comfort also that doesn't mean that you become uncomfortable but it's a neutral state and that is the mind becomes more tranquil these are degrees of tranquility of the mind so every step upwards is like climbing a flight of steps and when you climb a flight of steps you give up the first step to get into the second step you give up the second step to get into the third step you give up the third step to get into the fourth step that's how it goes so it's a gradual withdrawal 
and when you come to the fourth step the fourth ecstasy your mind is completely focused on one thing 